Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Today we'll be doing a review of the 2019 Ford Ranger Lariat. We'll do an outside walk around, an inside tour, and take it on a drive. Before we get into the review, I just want to give a huge shout out to Mossy Ford and Pacific Beach for letting me review this car. They have amazing deals going on for the 4th of July weekend. Stop by and check out their inventory because they have a ton of options available. Walking around the outside of the vehicle, the first thing we notice is that this is the Super Crew body style with a 5 foot box and comes fully loaded. I'll break down the equipment this comes with by option category, that way you know how everything is grouped together for when you go to option a Ford Ranger for yourself. So starting off with the standard features, on the outside it comes with daytime running lights, fog lamps, as well as folding and heated exterior mirrors. One thing I did notice is that the side mirrors actually have like a puddle light at the bottom, and I think that's pretty cool to have in a car like this. In addition, this car is equipped with a chrome appearance package, which includes chrome rims, mirror caps, door and tailgate handles, exhaust tip, front and rear bumpers, as well as a custom chrome front grille, and chrome tow hooks. Going on to the F by 4 package, I guess that's what you call it. It comes with the off-road tuned suspension, 18-inch off-road tires, as well as an electronic locking diff with a 3.73 final drive ratio. But the cool thing is it also has exposed front toe hooks, a front air dam delete, skid plates, and some nice technology actually with the train management system, show control, and on the infotainment system, there's an off-road screen cluster which provides you with pitch and roll as well as the steering angle of the wheels. So it's good data in the infotainment system catered towards four-wheel driving. And we can never forget the F by four off-road decal on the side of the car. Going on to the tow package, this is a pretty simple package. I think if you're gonna tow, you need to have this because it has the four and seven pin wire harness connectors, as well as a class four trailer hitch receiver. And last but not least, since this is the Lariat edition, it does have that Lariat badging on the side. And in terms of exterior features, you get remote start, rain sensing wipers, and windshield wiper de-icers, which is pretty cool. Okay, going on to the interior, this car comes with leather seats and or leather wrapped steering wheel, eight-way power adjustable seats, dual zone and automatic climate controls, and thanks to the Larry package, it includes the Bang & Olufsen 10 speaker sound system with HD radio, and the tech package, which includes adaptive cruise control and navigation. A quick way to identify that this is a Larry on the inside is the dual screen gauge cluster, which provides additional options and controls right from the screen. Outside of the interior and exterior specific features, there are functional features, which includes auto start stop technology, blind spot monitoring and lane keep assist, remote keyless entry, reverse sensing, and a rear view camera, which includes a tow hitch assist. So that's pretty much gonna wrap it up in terms of our outside and inside features. Overall, this is a very highly equipped car and comes in at around 42,765 before destination. But with that price comes a very capable and versatile car as we will see in the test drive. Okay, so the first impressions of the car is it's really comfortable and quiet in terms of like you're not hearing much road noise. I know these do have the more aggressive uh, tread since it is like that four by four option, um, but it's not that sensible even at you know speeds. So we're gonna get up to the highway so see how really, if the microphones pick it up, um, that'll be nice. If they don't, then it shows how quiet it is. Um, even on the highway, so. All right, so we're gonna get up to speed here, see how this thing accelerates. It's that 2.3 liter EcoBoost, uh, pushing out 270 horsepower and 310 pound-feet of torque. And it's made that 10-speed transmission, and it shifts really quickly to that right away. Pulls the gears really well. That's really nice. Man, it sounds pretty good that you get that induction note. I think I heard a little bit of a turbo whistle, which is cool. Um, it's not something that's typical of you know a mid-size pickup to have a turbocharged engine. That's like one of the standout features of this car, uh, and it still has that towing capability. I'll link, uh, I'll put a little note on the max towing capacity of this car, and it's up there with you know likes of the Tacoma and the Chevy Silverado. So that's nice to have. Another cool feature is the uh, radar uh, system that's in this car. You have, uh, in addition to the blind spot uh, monitoring system, you have adaptive cruise control, which is super nice. You can adjust that from the steering wheel controls as I'll put a clip to that here. There are parking sensors around the front and back, which aid the, the visibility, uh, even when you're looking out behind you, uh, lining up that, that tow hitch with that, uh, that guided line in the rear view, mirror, uh, rear view uh, screen. Excuse me. So that was the highway portion, just really comfortable, really nice, and it gets some speed quick, so you don't have to worry much about that.
<laughs> yeah, all right, so we're gonna turn here into a pretty bumpy portion just to get a feel for uh, uh, how the suspension takes, uh, you know, bumps day to day. Um, the cameras might might not pick it up because it's got image stabilization, but you know, I'll kind of tell you how it feels. We're going over some pretty, you know, some steel plates here, it's a pretty tight road. Um, but honestly, like, it's, it's really comfortable. The seats help with that and, you know, visibility is good, so you know where it is on the road. You get some good feedback through the steering wheel, which is nice. It's not like entirely numb, even though this is an electrical, um, electrically hydraulically assisted uh, steering system. So, yeah. So one of the quick thing I learned here is the uh, locking uh, rear diff that you can actually, it will automatically detect whether it needs to lock or not, depending on your driving uh, conditions, but you can actually manually control whether you want to keep it on uh, depending on your, your use case. Uh, cool thing is the, uh, the four-wheel drive selector. You have uh, two high, four high, as well as uh, four low. Uh, four low is typically for very low speeds, I believe between uh, 15 to 20 miles an hour max. It's usually for like rock crawling. So it's to maximize um, the torque of the engine and deliver that to the wheels properly if you have a really steep incline, uh, which is really cool, you know, keeping it really competitive with the, uh, the off-road uh, offerings from the competition. All right, I'm gonna slow down here and then we'll do a quick acceleration. You have your rocker on the shifter actually if you wanna downshift and it'll tell you what gear you're in. So here I can go down to just the low, now it's in like third gear. I'll wait for it to clear up actually and then we'll, uh, we'll give some, we go see how this thing pulls. Jeez, <laughs> yeah. I didn't even go through one gear. <laughs> Oh my God, all right, so yeah, this thing hauls. So yeah, it, it's got the power. Like people are used to, you know, the V6s and the V8s in the pickup truck, but don't don't underestimate this thing. And one other thing I did notice when, you know, walking around the inside of the car is the amount of USB ports. So if anyone ever needs to charge their phone, you'll be set. There's two in the back, two in the front here. So there's one for every single driver, assuming everyone brings their, their charging cable. So that's that's a nice, nice thing to have. All right, since so we do got this huge, uh, RV in front of us. We're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this car. Um, if any other features you think I missed that you guys want to ask me about, um, comment them down below. Again, huge shout out to Mossy4 for letting me drive this car. I'll link all their information below. And um, yeah, they have a good amount of Lariats in stock right now. They are getting more uh, in the future in terms of the, the other trims. Since this is a Lariat, they have the XLT uh, coming in soon. So that's super exciting since this is a car that's also very accessible to the masses. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.